Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel Always Secured Automation. Today, we are going to explore an essential component for many air systems, the air pressure regulator. We'll cover what it is, how to keep it in top shape with routine maintenance, and how to troubleshoot common issues. Let's dive in. What is an air pressure regulator? First, let's talk about what an air pressure regulator is. Simply put, an air pressure regulator controls the pressure of air in a system to ensure it remains consistent and within the desired range. It's a critical component in applications like pneumatic tools, compressors, and industrial machinery. The regulator takes the incoming high pressure air and reduces it to a lower, steady pressure that is safe and optimal for your equipment. How does an air pressure regulator work? Here is a step-by-step -step process of how an air pressure regulator works. The air supply is connected to the air inlet port which passes at the bottom of the regulator. The valve assembly is moved by the range spring pressing down on the diaphragm. The valve assembly is then held down until the output pressure is high enough to lift the diaphragm. The small spring closes the valve. Air passes through the diaphragm and out of the vent, maintaining balanced pressure. Air will go out through the vent above the diaphragm if the outlet pressure is above the pressure set by the range spring. When pressure is correct, the valve assembly opens to set the correct pressure. The pressure then exits the regulator through the outlet air port. If the pressure outlet is below the pressure set by the range spring, the valve assembly stays open until the set pressure level is achieved. Routine Maintenance Keeping your air pressure regulator in good condition is key to ensuring it works properly. Here are some routine maintenance tips. 1. Inspect regularly. Check the regulator frequently for any signs of damage or wear. Look out for leaks, cracks, or any irregular noises during operation. 2. Clean the filter. Many air pressure regulators come with a filter to catch debris and contaminants. Regularly clean or replace this filter to maintain optimal performance. 3. Check pressure settings. Use a gauge to verify that the pressure settings on the regulator are accurate. Adjust the settings as needed according to the manufacturer's recommendations. 4. Examine connections. Ensure all connections are secure and free from damage. Loose or damaged connections can lead to pressure drops or leaks. Troubleshooting. If you're having trouble with your air pressure regulator, here are some common issues and how to troubleshoot them. 1. No pressure or low pressure. This might be due to a clogged filter, a faulty regulator. Check and clean the filter and ensure the regulator is functioning properly. Also, inspect the air supply line for any obstructions. 2. High pressure. If the pressure is higher than expected, the regulator might need adjustment or could be malfunctioning. Verify the pressure settings and make adjustments as needed, or consider replacing the regulator if it's not operating correctly. 3. Fluctuating pressure. Inconsistent pressure can indicate problems with the regulator's internal components or issues with the air supply. Check the regulator for any signs of damage and ensure the air supply is steady and free from contaminants. 4. Leaks. If you notice any air leaks around the regulator, tighten the connections and inspect for damaged seals or cracks. Address leaks promptly to avoid inefficiencies and potential hazards. If you found this video helpful, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more practical tips and insights. Got questions or experiences to share? Drop them in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video on.